Hi, thank you for joining me for day 11 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, round 12. And today's sketch, you can see in the top right hand corner there, has been created by Brandy Jo. And you can see there are two torn strips, um, top and bottom. Once again, I'm using my Boho Sunshine from Simple Stories. And I've decided to go with this orangey red paper with the pink polka dots on. So you'll have seen, I just cut a rectangle there. And now I'm tearing that rectangle into the two triangles to go top and bottom. It takes a little bit of messing. I think I made the rectangle slightly too deep. So <laughs> I'm just having to um, tear some bits off so that I'm happy with the size of the triangles. Once that's done, I'm going to find another piece, which is this yellow paper, to add as another border underneath, just to create a little bit more interest. I'm not sure whether Brandy has that on her sketch or whether it's just the torn edge of the paper, but I really wanted to have two layers here. So that's why I've gone with the yellow. So the photos that I'm documenting are of our trip to Boston back in 2015. Um, we actually flew British Airways first class. It was our first time flying first class and I've been saving my air miles for years and years and years so that we could do this. Um, we, may, we took full advantage of going into the Concorde Lounge, which is British Airways special lounge in Heathrow. So we got a very early flight down from Manchester to London, but our flight from London to Boston wasn't until the evening so we had the full day to do some shopping and relax and take full advantage of the meals and champagne and things available in the Concorde Lounge and of course the other amusing thing to us was that we saw some celebrities so <laughs> this this layout is all about that so I've got a picture of our champagne glasses there on the table and a picture of um David Emmanuel who designed Princess Diana's wedding dress he sat at table directly in front of us so it was easy to surreptitiously take a photo <laughs> I wouldn't normally go around taking photos of people but uh, it was just too easy to do so I did we also saw Julianne Moore walking into the lounge she's absolutely stunning um, that was really nice to see but obviously I didn't didn't take a photo of her <laughs> it's not really the sort of place that you do that so I've just um, used the water trick to paint water on the edges, the torn edges of this paper and then curl them up because that will hold them rigid once it dries. And now I'm gluing that down. Now the yellow paper, I didn't want to waste any. Normally I would have torn diagonally so that it covered the full length of that torn edge of the red paper. But um, I didn't want to waste that much of the yellow. So I've just cut a normal strip off, a 12 inch strip and made that work. So now I'm going to mat these photos with some scraps of paper that I've got. Um, these photos have been cut down to three by four and I'm just going through. I think they were four by four photos to start with and I just trimmed them down. So just going through these papers and finding some to mat the photo onto. I didn't bother distressing the edges of these. And that piece, the sun piece there, I'm actually going to keep the torn edge at the top of but it, it was a bit too tall when I stick it on, so I will tear a little bit off, but I liked having that torn edge on there. There's not actually a lot of space between those to two torn pieces of paper in the middle to fit too many layers without it <laughs> messing up the uh, lines of the paper. So I just have to be a little bit careful about how much I build these layers up. If you've watched me before, you know I love to layer things and tuck things in but it does make the overall area of the photo much bigger so I'm just being careful and mindful of that. So as you can see back to my wet glue <laughs> I don't know why I do like my tape runner just old habits die hard I guess so you can see there that paper's just sticking up a little bit too much at the top so just tearing a little bit off that. I definitely wanted the champagne glasses on the left hand side so I didn't want to compromise with that. So here I'm just considering adding some mixed media on the background. That's what Brandy Jo has got, but um, I decide against it at first, but I do end up bringing a little bit of mixed media into the page. So just sticking those down for now. Uh, you see, I did use my tape runner for that. And now I'm going through some of the stickers on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Straight away, I see this one that says, be happy. And we really were because we've been looking forward to this holiday for such a long time. So, um, I use that and then this banner that says smile big 
that goes at the top there. And those are two really big structural elements that sort of dictate the rest of the layout. I love these heart sunglasses. I just thought they were really sweet. And that foam sticker that says love. And then I also use the foam um, smiley face sticker. So I do have to pull things up to move it around a little bit. But I just love that and how that builds up that cluster there in the bottom left hand corner. So just carefully pulling that love sticker up and then realise that I popped the smiley face one down without even realising. So then I had to carefully pull that one up. Honestly, I do wonder what I'm doing sometimes. But I get there in the end and it hasn't caused any damage to the photo, so that's good. So now I'm coming in with one of my Tim Holtz um, Stampers Anonymous stamps. And I'm just going to use that to add a little bit of mixed media to the left and right of the photo cluster. So just pull in the photo back to try and get that on and realise that it's not going to work. So I just use it without the, the um, stamp block. And I think that that is scattered straw, the ink that I've used there. So just adding some water to the ink and then getting it stuck down. And I just like the dimension that that creates. It's not too obvious. I'll add some splatters here and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the right hand side. Just adding the stamp first of all. And then going in with some more ink. And the water. And then adding some more water so that I can add some splatters. And that's just a really nice, easy way of adding your mixed media retrospectively. And a huge advantage of using that tape runner because I was able to pull the photos up very easily. So I've chosen an old Scenic Root alphabet sticker sheet to create my title. And across the top, I'm writing Celebrity Spotting. And just following the line of that red paper, going up and down with the letters to create that title. And I do have to move these letters back to the left a little bit because um, I've started a bit too far over to the right. I hadn't realised how big the letters were. So now that's all down, I'm coming in with some, I think these were my little shoebox alphabet stickers, again, years ago. And I'm just putting in the BA Concord Lounge across the bottom. Now I'm going to use my block, stamping block, to create my grid lines. Because my photos aren't straight on, the T ruler would have made the lines um, straight on to the layout. So using the grid that's on that ink block is a great way of creating your lines so that they're perpendicular to the photo. So the journaling just reads, we booked an early flight from Manchester to Heathrow to make full use of the BA First Class Concord Lounge. It was fabulous. Our first celebrity spot was Julianne Moore, who is even more fabulous in real life than David Emmanuel sat at the table in front of us. So now just going through the sticker book and choosing some bits and pieces to continue embellishing. I love that, that title piece that I put on the left-hand side that says you're a star. And then I found one that said hi, because I'd taken the photo and a little camera from the circular elements. And now I'm just going to add a little tab to that left-hand side and that's perfect for adding my date. So I'll use my roller date stamp to add that date there, which was the 7th of November, 2015. And then back through the sticker book again, just to see what else I can add. And I love these border stickers and I wanted to add something next to that tab. I felt it was just a little bit too plain there. So above that tab on the left-hand side, I'm just trimming off some of these borders to add to that area there. Once I've added the borders, I will also add a little flower sticker um, just to hide the joins. So while I'm doing that, don't forget to check the description box down below to see everybody else joining in on this fabulous hop. There's a playlist that Christy has created for us all. So every day we all add our videos and that um, list of videos is growing and growing. And you can just hit play and it will continue to play them one after the other. So a great way of finding some new creatives and watching without having to click back and click on a new link each time. I really like playlists. I think they're such a good idea. So just going around adding a few more bits. As I say, that little floral piece there and a heart at the bottom. Then I found this JD 3D print wood arrow that was just in my little pot on my desk full of bits and pieces. Now I'm going in with some Ellie Studio stars just to mimic those stars that are on that You Are a Star sticker that I put on the left hand side. 
And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll leave you with the close-ups here and I shall see you again tomorrow. Bye.